In this update called the Age of Triumph, there are many weapons that have a big return into Destiny like the Vex Mythoclast, the Oversoul Edict, and most importantly, the Necrochasm. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Necrochasm Auto Rifle in Year 3 of Destiny in Age of Triumph and all you need to do is just complete this really easy quest. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to have to do is load up any type of mission with an ogre in it and the first thing you're going to have to do is kill ogres in missions, just find ogres in missions and sometimes they can drop this thing called the husk of the pit. Now what the husk of the pit is that's an auto rifle, it's basically just a white auto rifle but what you can do is upgrade it all the way to the weapon called necrochasm. So as you can see I found my husk of the pit right here in my primary weapon slot. And all you need to do is just load up some random mission and you're going to be able to get the husk of the pit. Now, I went back to my postmaster to get the husk of the pit and I got a new quest called Born of the Pit. So what I need to do is that I basically need to get a certain amount of kills with a certain amount of enemy type with my husk of the pit. So basically what I need to do for this one is that I need to destroy Thrall. I need to kill Thrall enemies and on top of that I cannot infuse this with any other weapons. But I have to use this for specifically thrall. You can get different types of husk of the pit, and also on top of that, you can basically like farm husk of the pits. So if you find one that you don't like, you can basically just get another one. So basically, I almost have mines filled up, and you can just load up any mission. I recommend uh, the dark below. I mean the dark beyond mission, and basically just kill a bunch of thralls at the middle of the mission and keep on doing this over and over until you get the upgrade complete. Now this is only for the Thrall version of the Husk of the Pit. So yeah, I'm just gonna kill these Thrall and I'll get back to you. So once you kill all those thrall, your weapon is going to say weapon upgraded. You're going to see a green plus sign on your weapon and all you need to do is just click select on whatever it says cannibalism for me and I got the Adalon ally which is basically a legendary version of the husk of the pit. Now you can actually infuse this one for high light but what you need to do is that you need to upgrade all of these perks and there's one special perk at the end and you're going to need to get something called the essence of the oversoul. Now what the essence of the oversoul is is that you basically get it from Crota and beating up Omnigol inside the strike. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is that you're going to need to go to the speaker and he'll give you 25 modes of light in order to upgrade this weapon so you can get some of the perks so you can get the essence of the oversoul. Second thing you need to do is go to Eris Morn and she is going to give you a specific quest called the Crux of Darkness. So hit continue and then she's gonna want you to do the 390 light version of Crota's end. Now what you need to do is that you need to complete this from start to finish. So that means traverse in the abyss, which means go inside, jump all the way down there, and just wait until you complete Crota's end. And it has to be the 390 version. And then you need to go into the strike and you need to kill Omnigal. Now once you kill Omnigal, it's going to say new step, return to Eris Morn in the tower. So you gotta speak to Eris Morn back in the tower and she has something for you. Now, Just we're just gonna celebrate over here and then we're gonna go back to the tower, meet Eris Morn and she has the necrochasm. Basically, she has the essence of the oversoul and you're gonna need that to upgrade your Adalon ally to the necrochasm. So that was how to make your husk of the pit into the necrochasm, which is the exotic version of it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. This is probably my first quest tutorial on YouTube. I'm going to start doing a lot more throughout Age of Triumph and throughout Destiny 1 and throughout Destiny 2 when it comes out. So yeah, I'm sorry for the delay of videos. I have a lot of stuff to do in my life. So basically that's what's causing me to not post as much YouTube videos as I used to, but I'm going to try to post a lot more videos. So so yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video hope to see you guys soon hope you have a blessed day and peace out